Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little hat for a baby from six to nine months. I did this little hat to match this little sweater that I, I already showed you. Um, down here in the information box, I'll leave you the link to this tutorial. Um, this little jacket is for a baby from six to nine months. Um, you can make it for boys or girls and it's super easy to make. Now, when I uploaded this tutorial, many of you asked me to make the matching hat using light number three baby yarn since um, the little hat that I showed you when I made the little cardigan was this one here this one I used a thicker yarn it's a medium number four yarn so um, it wasn't exactly the same um, yarn as this one so I decided to go ahead and make you a quick video for this little hat so here it is now I also will go ahead and make the matching baby pants along with the matching baby booty so stay tuned for those as well okay so I hope you like it and without further say let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn for the brim I'm going to use this yarn it's I love this yarn uh, sports weight this is a light number three baby yarn in this color white. Now the rest of the hat I'm going to use Bernat Baby Sports in the color blue. Now to begin, I have nine chains. If you want your brim wider, you can go ahead and add more chains. If you want this to be smaller, then take away chains. Okay, so here to begin, like I said, I have nine chains. Into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and so on this is how I'm going to continue for this first row and I'm going to end with a total of eight single crochets like this and eight now turn chain one and here we're going to do the same thing but we're only going to go through the back loop of each one of the single crochets. So into this first one, insert your hook through the back loop of your first single crochet and make your first single crochet for the second row, then into the second and so on. The important thing here is that we always go through the back loop of each one of the single crochets and you're always going to end with eight single crochets like this. Now turn for the third row, chain one, and repeat. Go through the back loop and make a single crochet. This is how you're going to continue until you have a total of 68 rows. I already have my brim ready. This is 68 rows. Um, it's measuring 17 inches, which is about 43 centimeters. Now, if you want to make this hat for any size, any age, just make sure that the rows that we do here are in multiples of two. Um, this brim here is measuring right now about 17 inches, which, which is about 43 centimeters. And what I did is I stretched mine in order to get that measurement. I want to make sure that this is not too big once my hat is done, so that's why I went ahead and stretched it. This is a very stretchy brim, so make sure you do the same. And if you're making this hat for any size, any age, um, down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you standard measurement. So make your brim, measure it, but make sure you stretch it, and then based on that, make your brim and make sure that it's in multiples of two. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to join both ends here. So to do that, I'm going to go here into this first stitch right there, and then grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and back again into the same stitch, the first stitch here, and into the first single crochet back here, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Like this, into the second stitch, and into the second single crochet, grab a loop and make a slip stitch, same thing into the next and so on. So continue like this and I'll meet you once this part here is joined to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished joining both ends and this is what it looks like. So now I've cut my yarn so I'm going to just grab a loop and pass my yarn through this last stitch then pull and this part here is done. Now I'm going to 
grab this blue color here, I have a loop ready, and we're going to make half double crochets on each one of these rows, um, so that at the end we have a total of 68 half double crochets. So beginning here to the side, this is where we end it, so right to the side, you're going to grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, like this, and then into the same stitch here, make your first half double crochet. Now go to the next row right there and make your half double crochet. Half double crochet, then half double crochet. So one half double crochet for each row. So continue like this. I'll meet you at the end right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of half double crochets and I have a total of 68 half double crochets. Now to finish, we're going to go to the top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. That's how we finish this row. Now for the first row to our pattern stitch, you're going to chain two. And this first half double crochet that's right here, not the chain, but the half double crochet, we're going to make a front post double crochet. Now into the next half double crochet right on top, make one double crochet. Into the next half double crochet, this one here, which is the third one, we're going to make a front post double crochet, double crochet on top of the next, front post double crochet for the next, double crochet on top of the next, front post double crochet into the next half double crochet. And that's all you're going to do for this first row. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 68 stitches, not including the two chains. Now, my last stitch here was a double crochet here at the very end. Now to finish this row, go to the top of the first um, stitch, which is a front post double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And that's how we finish the first row. Now for the second row to our pattern stitch, here we're going to chain two and we're going to look at the first stitch. This stitch here is a front post double crochet, so now we're going to work a double crochet on top. Now, from here on, all of the double crochets that we did on the previous row that are not front post double crochets, in this second row we're going to work them into front post double crochets, and the front post double crochets that we did on the previous row, we're going to make a double crochet on top. So this next stitch here is a double crochet, so we're going to make a front post double crochet, then a double crochet on top, front post double crochet, double crochet on top of the next, front post double crochet, double crochet, then front post double crochet, and so on. Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Now to finish, we're going to go to the top of the first stitch right here and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row and all the rows that follow. Now for the third row, you're going to chain two. Now here, look at your first stitch. This stitch here is just a regular double crochet. And so you know that all of the double crochets that are not front post double crochets in the previous row. In this new row, you're going to make them into front posts double crochets. Then on top of the next stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. Then again, front post double crochet, and then double crochet. And this is all we're going to do for this third row. When you're finished, you're going to join with a slip stitch, chain two, and then again, you're going to look at your first stitch from the previous row. In this case, it's going to be a front post double crochet, so you know you're going to do a double crochet. So continue like this. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 11 rows, and it's measuring, let's see, it's about, five and a half inches, which is about 13 and a half centimeters. So now what we're going to do in the next um, two rows is we're going to reduce here 
so that we can start shaping the crown. Um, I have about an inch and a half to go uh, for my total height, so um, I like to start reducing my hats when I have about an inch and a half to two inches left from the total height. So if you're doing this hat for any other size, make sure that you start reducing when you have about an inch and a half to two inches left from the total height. Okay, so here, to do the first row of reduction, you're going to chain two. And here you're going to look at the first stitch. This stitch here is a front post double crochet. So in our pattern, we know that when we have a front post double crochet, you need to do a double crochet on top. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to close this double crochet. I'm going to leave two loops. I'm going to yarn over and then go to the next stitch. This next stitch, it's supposed to be a front post double crochet. So that's what we're going to do. Grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, let me show you. Yarn over on top of the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, go to the next stitch, and work a front post, double crochet, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And this is all we're going to do for this ro first row of reductions, like this, okay? So continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of reductions and I have a total of 34 stitches all around. Now to finish, go to the top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two, now yarn over and we're going to look into this first stitch. Each one of the stitches that I counted, um, there's 34, has two um, stitches this double crochet and a front post double crochet in one stitch, okay? So here we're going to look into the first stitch, this one here. I'm going to yarn over, insert your hook as if you're going to work a front post double crochet. We're actually working a front post double crochet, but we're not going to close. We're going to leave two, two loops on the hook, yarn over again. Now go on top of the second stitch, this one here, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over. Now we're going to look again into this second stitch. And the first stitch that we see is this double crochet. So grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, and then look into this same stitch where we did this double crochet. Work a front post double crochet. Don't close it, leave two loops, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, look into this same stitch where we did the double crochet. Work a front post double crochet. Don't close it, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. This is how we're going to work this second row of reduction, so I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 34 stitches, which is the same number of stitches I had in the first row of reduction. So now here to finish, go to the top of the first stitch, grab a loop, and join with a slip stitch. Now for the next row, chain two, and into this first stitch here, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops, close. Again, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Continue like this for this row and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this last row. Now to finish, go to the top of the first stitch, grab a loop and join with a slip stitch. Now I've cut my yarn, so I'm just going to pull this loop and tie a knot here. Now we're going to weave this yarn around that opening. So we're going to go in and out here all around. So go into the first stitch, skip one, go into the next, skip one, go into the next, and so on. Okay. 
Now we're going to turn this over like this. Now pull your yarn to close that hole there like this. And with this loop here, just tie a knot. There it is, cut your yarn, hide your ends, and this part here is done and that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a pom-pom, so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you our finished uh, little hat. Okay, so here's my finished hat. This is what it looks like with the little pom-pom. I think it's super cute. I love this stitch. And here's the matching little cardigan. I just need to make the little pants and the little baby booty. So stay tuned for those as well. Now for this little hat, I used exactly 42 grams of light number three baby yarn. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.